everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we will talk about deciles of group data. So deciles are score points that divides the distribution into 10 equal parts. For group data, this is the same with quartile, the sum of the lower class boundary and the fractional part of the class interval size. So this is the formula, d sub k is equal to lb sub dk plus the quantity of kn over 10 since dividing the distribution into 10 equal parts minus less than cumulative frequency below all over f sub dk times i. So lb sub dk is lower class boundary of decile class. Less than cf sub b that is less than cumulative frequency below decile class. F sub dk, that is frequency of decile class, and i is the class interval. So let us have example, the scores of students in algebra test. As you can see, it is arranged using frequency distribution table, where the scores are in terms of class interval, and frequency, meaning the number of students per class interval. So for 95 to 99, there are 5 students who got the score of 95 to 99. So, there are 11 students who got 90 to 94. There are 17 students who got 85 to 89. There are 25 students who got 80 to 84. 20 students who got 75 to 79. 12 students who got 70 to 74. 7 students who got 65 to 69 and 3 students who got the score of 60 to 64. So if we are going to find how many students took the test, just add the frequency. So 5 plus 11, 16, plus 17, that is equal to 33, plus 25, that is 58, plus 20, 78, plus 12, 90, plus 7, 97, plus 3, 100. So there are 100 students who took the test. So n is equal to 100. So since the only given are the classes and the frequency, we need to add the column of the less than cumulative frequency since we need this column in order for us to solve the measure of position such as decile. So again, less than cumulative frequency, meaning we start at the lower class and add all the frequency. So that is less than cumulative frequency. We add all the frequencies starting at the lower class. So again, the lower class is 60 to 64, the frequency is 3, then add up all the frequency one by one. 3 plus 7, 3 plus 7 is 10, plus 12, that is 22, plus 20, that is 42, plus 25, that is 67, plus 17, that is equal to 84, plus 11, that is 95, and plus 5 is 100. Again, the last number is equal to n. Now, let us calculate d sub 3 or the third decile. So, the first step is to locate the third decile. So, the formula in location or locating the third decile is 3n over 10. So, the first one is 3n over 10. Since we divide the distribution into 10 equal parts. That's why divide by 10. So 3 times n is 100 divided by 10. So that is equal to 300 divided by 10. So that is equal to 30. Next step is to locate 30 in less than cumulative frequency. So 30 is not included to 3, 10, and 22 since 20, these numbers are less than 30. Therefore, 30 is included to 42. So the class of D sub 3 is 75 to 79. Therefore, we have the equation of D sub 3. 
Since we have the location already, we can identify and find the remaining values in the formula. So the first one is the lower class boundary of D sub 3. So the lower class boundary, meaning involves the lower score of D sub 3. So that is 75 instead of 79. Again, subtract 0 0.5 from 75. So that is LB is equal to 74.5. And the next, less than cumulative frequency below D sub 3. So ang less than cumulative frequency of D sub 3 is 42. Below it is 22. So less than cumulative frequency below is 22. And the next, frequency of D sub 3. Frequency that is 20. And I is equal to 5. Since the distance in each row is 5. 60 to 65, 65 to 70, 70 to 75, and so on. So I is 5. Okay, so let's compute or calculate D sub 3 since all the values of the formula are completed. So D sub 3 is equal to lower class boundary is 74.5 plus the quantity of 3n over 10 is 30 minus less than cumulative frequency below is 22 all over frequency of d sub 3 is 20 times 5 the interval so again rewrite 74.5 then add this look this part so we have to solve the fractional part of the class interval size so 30 minus 22 that is 8 over 20 times 5 so again cancel this is 4 8 divided by 4 that is equal to 2 so add 2 74.5 plus 2 that is equal to 76.5 so therefore our value for D sub 3 is 76.5. That means 30% of the students got the score of 76.5 and below or less than or equal to 76.5.